So I'm Stephen Deasley. I'm the artistic director of Love Music, and one at, we are the producing company that's made Punkit. Punkit is an ambitious, noisy, exciting, open access piece for young musicians or non-musicians um, to use punked up bits of kitchen utensils and cardboard boxes and sticks and things that you might find in your house. And we're gathering all those together and putting them together with an amazing professional band to create this extraordinary, punky, anarchic, noisy piece of music. It's the first time lots of these kids have ever played in front of an audience or for their peers. And also we give them a chance to kind of let their hair down a little bit. And um, the box, which is a big bit of the program, also becomes an instrument. And by the end of the show, it gets a little bit trashed in a very punk kind of way. I'm Joe B. Burgess, I'm a percussionist. Um, and on Punk Hit, I'm playing as a drummer and a percussionist, kind of as a soloist in the band, but also as the sort of mentor for the young people um, and teaching them some skills on the percussion. I think that Punkit is very accessible to other schools, particularly to any teachers who have students who might lack confidence working with others or any social skill problems, um, because it gets them working together as a big group um, and making music together. I think I liked the idea of it being specifically for 11 to 14 year olds. There's a sort of time when you're trying out a lot of new things and there's a lot of things you haven't really done before. It is a school-based project. It doesn't have to sit in that place. It could be done in community centres as well. We've built an enormous resource bank um, for teachers and music leaders to use. I love the website, I think it's really student friendly. I think it absolutely fits well in the curriculum because that you know it's all of the skills that you need for music. It's listening to each other, it's um, it's very rhythmic and I think if you can crack their rhythm skills everything else falls into place. <laughs> So, I mean, I grew up as a, as a sort of rock and roll drummer. At 12, 12 years old, it was like, what instrument are you going to play? You can play the bass because I play the piano. No, I'm going to play the drums. And I just, I think that the individual rhythms are fantastic. I have them going around in my head all the time. I think they're really catchy. Like, Skins is based on the main rhythms that you have different parts of the drum kit playing, so that without them even realising it, they could internalise those three rhythms and then have a go at playing it on the drum kit. I think that's great. I think it's important that 11 to 14 year olds feel that they can be ambitious and adventurous in what they do and I think Punk It has that message. I get to express my emotions and play with a group and work as a team. It's inspired me to do like, to do more music. As like, when each workshop has gone on, my confidence has, built, has been building. Before I was like scared to play. No, I want to like, play the drums. Getting up, having a go, making music, performing in front of an audience, not caring too much if it goes wrong, but it's that you're part of something and you're part of a big group. I think that's hugely empowering. It's about having fun first and foremost, you know, and, and being engaged and being part of a team. That moment when you can take risks with music and do something that you've never done before and push yourself into places where you didn't think you could go, that's quite an exciting offer for a 12-year-old who's never had that experience or opportunity. It's just a bit more of a standout project in my mind. It's, it's up the game. It felt awesome. Like, would you do it again? Yeah. 50 times over. And the experience was amazing. Loud, energetic and, most importantly, fun. New and fresh. Inspirational. Punkinisha. 